Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to this channel, y'all. Melanie and Gemini, Missy Tarot, back at you again. I wanted to hit you with a slick message. I already have one for members only, but this is the message carrying on into, you know, the actual YouTube. This is a prophetic message, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. Just because you have a relationship with someone and it don't work out and you have kids, that's not the end of that relationship because the relationship now is with that child. As we all grow up, our life wasn't perfect. You know, we were in a situation where, you know, things, you know, things were in itself. When I'm from the 80s, so it seemed like a lot of things that was in the house needed to stay in the house. Um... But I feel if they, there's nothing to help fix the problem in the house, maybe there is a higher source or a higher power trying to get that fixed before something bigger happens. I know that I'm really getting like someone probably lost a child on the verge of losing a child due to they're not being enough support to a child. Maybe someone or some people have addictions and or depressed and anxiety so they can't tend to their child and make sure their child is straight because of their own personal issues. However, when a parent does not go within and do the necessary healing, that can really harm a child because a child is only going to receive what they see and when you, if you show a child okay you can be strong being strong how to be strong physically but no emotional that shit will make your ass or them go crazy because you know when you think about the situation you think about when you're physically strong you get stronger but when you're not mentally strong, some people don't know how to get mentally strong. And when you get mentally strong, you'll start seeing the errors of your ways, situations, people, places, and things. But when it comes to your child, that may be a touchy issue. Maybe I'm talking to a single parent. And I feel like I am. This is for a single parent. You've had to do whatever you had to do. Maybe you're older and you had lost a child to the streets, to situations where there was no father figure involved. They did not want to be. It wasn't that they could not. There wasn't nothing stopping them. It wasn't, you know, it's easy to FaceTime a child, call a child, you know, make time to go see a child. And I commend those who are doing that, who are sick who are doing whatever they need to do for their child to see that they will always be there. I tell people when you have kids, it's not just you anymore. And maybe there's a parent out there that just don't realize that yet. Or realizing that this is a serious, deep responsibility to raising a child and raising that child and putting them on a path that they'll never lead too far from. Um, I know that Whoever this is that has lost somebody, my condolences. A loss of a child is deeper than any other person can imagine because you bared that seed, you bared that child. And for someone to um, second guess or denounce your feelings, and especially the situation of people will come to a funeral and did not have no part and always had something negative, did negative. Y'all be aware. Never allow someone to come in and make you feel as such. That's why I subtract myself from things like that. I subtract, especially those who try to question your parenting when they were parents or whatever, or they are a parent and look at their situation. Everybody's situation is different, so how can they judge yours? Everybody wasn't brought up the same way. Everybody wasn't in a situation where, you know, they can, you know, have that support system. Everybody does not have a support system. Me, personally, it was a support system there, 
but it was too much um how can i put this competition and it shouldn't have been no competition my family could have worked together and had a whole family business but people want to be like oh well i can do one better and i can do one better and i can do one better so ain't nobody and it's no generational like everybody want to be the god daggone cheat and there don't want to be nobody to follow that's why god gifts the ones in the family that you least expect that you second guess but they are one thing i can say about a chosen one we always been doing good we ain't never lack for a daggone thing we don't have to worry about something not coming into pass. Making it all make sense. We don't worry about what God is going to do because we know it's done, especially if you read your affirmations. But at the end of the day, y'all, be freaking aware how people will come into your life and antagonize things in your life until, you know, it's not beneficial and they need your help. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting someone's contemplating right now. Someone's contemplating on a situation with someone that they had a child with. And someone's contemplating on someone that they don't have a child with. But if you don't have a child with this person, it seems like y'all always break up, come back together, break up, come back together. And it's always something. It That is a soulmate. That's someone to teach you something. And then once you go into another relationship, it is in itself. Mm -mm. today is mercury i said mercury retrograde it is mercury retrograde or it is you know that and then it is uh if i'm not mistaken it's the eclipse y'all can't forget about that so y'all please stay in the house if you ain't gotta go too far go that far and come back the eclipse here is supposed to start around 12 blah blah, blah 11 o'clock 11 58 11 54 Make it all make sense, but thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all subscribes. Thank you for listening to this message. Um, I don't know what type of message I'm going to do today. You know, whatever the message is, whatever it is when the cards come out. I like to do things fluently, but however y'all remember, members only, if you want to be part of members only, remember I'm doing a giveaway. The first giveaway is going to be an authentic Louis Vuitton wallet. I have other things coming. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see how it need to be said. Um, <clears throat> if you're trying to do members only as well, readings are not $55.55 on weekends. They're $33.33 every day of the week, $365. Four twenty. But thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. It is the morning time. I am tired. Um maybe there's been a lot of y'all that's been tired and stuff i know i have i've been tired for these past couple days couple i just been like fatigued like honestly it is my condition but it is in itself until the next one peace love prosperity invitation